This is called The Cedar Tree and Octopus, written by me, and I've done a painting to amuse you on the left there. And I'd like to, the backstory to this is it was born in a conversation with JJ Tuta Speaks. So many thanks. On with the story. On the edge of the Salish Sea stood a very tall cedar tree. It was dreaming as trees often do the same as me and you. Dreams of star nations, one asked for help, a volunteer. Why, I'd be honored, said Cedar Tree, who held all in the Salish Sea Deer. A sparkly star glittered and fell, shining bright in the dark. It nestled deep in the cedar's bark with a story to tell. Heavy rains washed the cedar tree all the way to the ground, and that's how the star story slid effortlessly down deep in the roots where it could develop and grow. In and out went the tide like the water stories know. One starry night at the edge of the Salish Sea, it was especially bright. The moon was as full as a wheel of cheese. The sea creatures were singing for it was a special occasion. The cedar tree had announced the surprise in the tide of location. It lifted its roots right into the sea. And now the fully grown octopus from the stars was grown wild and free. The octopus was glowing with pleasure as it thanked the cedar tree, its friend. And here is not where the story ends. For as tides ebb and flow, love makes stories grow. Whether they come from the sky or the sea, they're now a part of you and me. Just like the starry octopus and cedar tree, what great friends stories can be. They live when we share them, especially with our friends. And when we do that, they never end.